Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to a brand new video, Blurso Gaming. And in today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to play Minecraft for beginners. This explains everything from how to start playing Minecraft to how to even create a world. So without further ado, let's jump into it. So the first thing you want to do is actually get into the game. So you'll spawn in just like this and you want to press play. You can see I've got my little avatar over here and you just want to push play. So once you press on play, it will open up this menu. Now you want to press on create new. And once you press on create new, then you want to press on create new world. Once you press on that, then you're in the process of creating a new world. So you can give your world a name. So And then also, once you give your world a name, you can choose creative or survival. This will show whether you have to survive in the game or just have fun and build whatever you want. Today's tutorial will be about how to do survival mode. Then you can choose the difficulty. We're just going to be playing on normal difficulty for now. And then over here is show coordinates, bonus chest, and all of this stuff that I'll explain later. Later. Anyway, once you give your world a name and stuff, then you just want to push create. And you will be in the process of creating a new world. Then once you do that, you'll actually get into the game. So you'll see, once I do this, then it will actually load up the world. And now I am in the game, as you can see. I've got my avatar in the game, and I can walk around by pressing W. And I can go backwards by pressing S. Then to go sideways, you can do D. And to go the other way, you can do A. Now that you guys know how to move around pretty well, then I'm going to show you how to get up blocks. So once you walk to up to a block, then you want to press space on your keyboard to jump up it. As you can see, I can walk around and then I can go and I can press space to jump up the block. Then once you do that, you actually want to learn how to sprint. So how to sprint is you double tap W really fast and then you'll start sprinting and then you can move much faster as you can see instead of walking I am basically running now once you know how to move around and the basic key things then you want to go to find a tree just like this trees can look like this they can be any color this is a savanna tree there can be oak trees ter cherry blossom trees all you want to do is get to the wood now once you see the wood then you just want to mine it by pressing left click on your mouse or whichever button is to click and you'll see it starts breaking now you'll see down below in my hotbar right there i have an acacia log so you just want to get about five or six of any log type that you want and any log type that is closest to you as you can see you may see sheeps or llamas or anything i'm walking around around you because this is super realistic game well not the graphics as you can see they're all blocks but other than that there are animals in this game there's a sky there's water and there's me so then once you have all your acacia logs that you would ever need then you want to have them in your hotbar just like this it'll say five or six or whatever number you have and then you want to press e once you press e you'll see it opens up my inventory you can see i still have those acacia logs and I can turn them into stuff. So I'm going to use this and turn them into four acacia planks. Then you want to grab about 20, 25, something like that. And then you want to make a crafting table by placing them in each corner right here. Then you'll see you have a crafting table and you want to bring it to your hotbar. You can see I've got my crafting table right there. Then you want to go out by pressing exit. And now you're back in the game. And now you have a crafting table. So you want to press right click to place it down. And then right click again to open it up. Now you can see I can make a lot of more stuff because I have a bigger crafting bench. So then once you do that, you can make tools like pickaxes, axes, swords, shovels, and hoes. So all we want to get is one wooden pickaxe. Once we do that, we want to dig down into the ground to find ourselves some stone. You want to dig down about four or five blocks. And then you can see you can find stone. If you want to know how to dig... Then it's the same way you did breaking the logs. You just press left click. Then you want to left click a few of these stones. You want to get about seven pieces of stone so that you can make yourself 
some basic stone tools. Once you have some of the stone, you want to use your doors, and I'm going to teach you something new. If you jump, you go up a block. Then if you jump and place something, then you can actually jump up a block and then place something below you to make the ground higher, just like this. And then you can actually build your way up and out of your hole. Once you do that, you want to right click on the crafting bench again, and you want to get yourself a stone pickaxe over here, a stone axe, and also if you have enough sticks or stone, a stone sword. Right now I only have a stone axe and a stone pickaxe, but that's fine. Then you want to pick up your crafting bench, and if you see any of this stuff, pick it up. I'll explain why later. Anyway, you want to pick all of this stuff back up, and then once you do that, you want to start looking for a village or just getting some food because nighttime is going to be coming soon and we need some food. If you see any gold or iron and stuff, try to pick it up with your pickaxe. But you must have an iron pickaxe for the gold. So if you see any iron, which will be beige -ish colored, then you want to pick it up. Also, if you see any surface stone, then try to pick up some of it. Anyway, now you want to get some food. So, the only problem with this game is it's a little cruel to get food. Let me explain why. You see how I said there are animals? Well, animals equal beef. And beef equals food. Which is kind of cool. So, you want to take your axe and you want to just start hitting any animals near you. And you can see now I have some raw beef. And we need this so that later on we can cook it and then we can have something to eat. I know, I know. It's cool killing animals for food, but that is the way it works in this game. So, once you have enough food, which is about 10 or something pieces, then you want to find a nice area to settle down in. So, we're going to use this area right here. Also, if you see any sheep that look like that or that are white, then make sure to kill them, unfortunately, too, so that then you can make a bed tonight with the wool you've collected. Anyway. Now we're going to work on building a house. So you can build a house in any way by placing blocks. So once you have enough blocks, you can actually build a house. So the way you get blocks, I'm pretty sure you guys already know. You mine them. I mean, that's even in the title of the game. Mine craft. Because you mine stuff, and then you craft stuff, and then you build stuff. I guess it should be called Minecraft Build. But anyway... So, then once you do that, you want to find yourself a forest or something around that line. Unless you want to spend 10 hours mining up stone, which you can also do. Then you want to get a ton of these logs, and you can mine them faster using your axe. Once you do that, you will see you have a bunch of logs. So, mine yourself about 20 logs, and then we'll be good to go. Also, you know when I said use your pickaxe? Well, once you have about around 20 logs, then you also want to try to get some coal and iron and stuff. So you want to try to find yourself a cave like this. Once you do that, you want to mine up some of this coal, just like this using your pickaxe. And then with this coal, later on we can make torches. Because as I said, nighttime is coming and it's not going to be easy for beginners. So you want to mine up as much coal as you can. And if you find any iron, which is just like coal, but another color, then great. Then you have some iron to your name as well. So you want to mine up a bunch of coal. And you also see it gives you experience. As you can see, beside my health and my hunger, I have experience. Right now I have two experience. If you're wondering where your health and your hunger are, they are right above your hotbar. You can see... Right now I'm at level 3, and as I mine the stone, it gives me more game experience. So game experience is a bit more advanced, but I might go over that in another tutorial. Anyway, once you do that, you want to keep getting food. Once you get food, then you, you just want to, while you're running around, just if you see any animals, I know, it sounds very cool, but just eliminate them. Because you need food, and you want to turn yourself onto the top of the food chain and we can't be at the top of the food chain if we don't like killing any uh, killing any animals 
which I know. I would prefer not to kill animals either. But trust me, it is very hard to go vegan in this game. Like, extremely hard. Then once you find, then you want to find some white sheep like this. You want to especially look for these white sheep. Not the gray sheep, not the brown sheep. You want to look for white sheep. Then you want to get kill the white sheep. And you can see it also gives you some raw mutton and also some wool. Then you want to get three pieces of wool. So just run around looking for some white sheep. But if you don't want to run around, then that's okay, because we can spend that time building our house. So you're going to place down a crafting table, and then you want to use your logs that you just got and turn them into planks. Now you can see we have so many planks. So we can use these planks to make a house. So just, I guess, just place blocks using right click in a formation that is kind of like a house. So just place them around to make the frame of the house. As you can see, just like this. And don't worry, there aren't physics in this game. It's not like you need supports. So, I guess physics haven't been invented yet in Minecraft, which kind of sucks. But also, it makes the game a lot easier. Then once you do that, you want to add on a roof. It needs to be two blocks tall for you to actually fit in it. So once you add on your roof, the house is going to look very ugly. But that's what we need to do if we want to make a real house. And as you can see, I'm just adding a bit more decoration by using some stairs to decorate around the sides of the house. You can also make stairs in your crafting table, and you can make a lot of stuff in your crafting table. But as you can see, night is coming. So then you want to make a hole to your ugly little house, and you want to settle in. So grab all your belongings that are outside of your house, bring them inside, and then once you're inside, you want to quickly make a door. So you make a door just like this. You can see I have oak doors or whatever wood kind you have. And then you can place it down so that you can open it and close it. Once you do that, you'll notice it's kind of dark in your house. So you want to use some of that coal and some stick to make a torch. Then you can place these torches down around the walls. And you can see now it's been lit up. So as you can see, now I have a house. I have tools. And I am chilling in this game. So that's basically all I'm going to put in this advanced tutorial. But I'm going to add one more thing. You can see now there are monsters out. And this is when the health thing comes in. So you can see when there are monsters, they try to hit me. And you can see they'll try to kill me. So we want to run inside our house to stay away from these monsters. Because these monsters, if you get all the way down to the health, which you can see three of my hearts are gray, which means they're gone then you will eventually die and lose all of your progress. So that is why you want food. Because once you make a furnace, then, then you know, you see a furnace right there. You can grab this furnace, place it down in your little house, and then you can use your coal and all the food you got to cook it up in your new furnace, and then you can make some food. But that is all I am going to put in this tutorial. If you enjoyed, don't forget to like and subscribe. I'm getting so close to 500 subscribers. And I really want to hit 1,000 subscribers before the end of the year. But only you guys can make that possible. So if you guys want an advanced tutorial, I will start right off right here. This is another video of Gaming. And thank you guys for watching. Peace.